Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. This is episode 14. Last time we did the Captain of Industry mission starting the Knife in Dunwall DLC and we now find ourselves entering the legal district. The imminent domain. Delilah once painted portraits for barrister Arnold Timsch, a corrupt aristocrat who uses his legal powers to evict families from their homes and claim property for the Lord Regent based on false accusations of plague. Barrister Timsh's niece, Talia, hates him. She has promised to help you locate Delilah for a price. Meet with Talia to find out what she knows. Let's jump in. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsh paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timps was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old Barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the Barrister's niece and she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. All right. New upgrades available. The blueprints you found unlock explosive bolt capacity, arc mine capacity, <clears throat> stun mine capacity and arc mine extra charge so we actually do have the stun version of the mine now for a non-lethal approach and we've got ourselves 2490 coins to play with so um favors we've got a rune drop off and we've got whale oil delivery there'll be some conveniently placed whale oil tanks by the first gate on your way to the district um, so you can, yeah, I feel like we can get by without a convenient whale oil delivery. We'll get the rune. We'll upgrade the stun mine capacity. Ooh, even choke dust might be nice to grab too. We can upgrade to have the sleep darts be effective immediately, even in combat. But, you know, if you're just better at your job, then that won't even matter. Um, we can increase our sleep dart capacity. Now, in terms of the range and reload, I'm kind of holding off on those because, again, shouldn't need to worry too much, I don't think. So, stun mine. Place this mine nearly anywhere. When triggered, it will deliver an electrical shock, rendering the target unconscious. That's the plan. Now, we'll grab three. Um, and choke dust is an irritant, creating a noxious cloud, temporarily blinded and disabling enemies. We'll have, like, you know, enough room with things because... We will find the rest in the field, I think. I'm trying to, like, savor some of the coins at least, not spend it all. There you go. Start the mission. Okay. We have Talia Trevers Close. And we have one rune at the moment. And I think we will save up to get bending time so we'll leave that for now one more body should matter right Talia should be waiting in Trevor's close it's an alley just past the wall of light you'll know it by three whitewashed skulls Retrievers close, okay. All that for five coins. Alright. Oop! I don't want to get eaten by some fish right now. Let's 
So a rune is close by, Shiva's close is not as close, and we opted to not have some whale oil, so we'll find some ourselves. Stop trouble before it starts, the way the barrister likes it. I hear General Turnbull is coming to inspect. Going to make the whole city run like this. It's about time. God, this light is blinding. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> that was the wrong button. I'm so glad he did not pay attention to that, but that's a waste of a sleep dart. I don't know why I assumed that I could grab with the right trigger. Ooh. Maybe I should change it to right trigger. <laughs> Off you go, mate. That's what you get for pissing off the edge. Look. See that? Who needs convenient whale oil placement? I'm gonna go for a swim. Assassin's note as requested. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, oh, we could upgrade Void Gaze actually as well. So we could actually see a lot more useful objects and security systems, living beings, their fields of vision. Now, we get to slow time, or we can completely stop time at level two. In time it is. Slow the world around you for a limited time or until you press right click again. Okay. I could probably infiltrate from this side as well actually, thinking about it. I think I need to update my hotkeys as well. Um, how do I rearrange my... How do I rearrange my hotkeys? Because I would like to have my abilities... Okay, I just press the number when I'm there. Okay. We're gonna have blink be number one, void gaze be two three and four. I just want to have like easy access to the four powers because that's like right next to where my hand is and then I guess sleep dart could be like five. Grenade, choke dust, grenade, six, stun mine, seven. So I just only really pull from like the non-lethal abilities and then if we do end up getting caught in a situation where we're pushed to be a little more lethal I can manually choose At the very least, you can kind of hold the button to, like, think a little bit more about what you're actually choosing. There you go. So in the console version, you do have the ability to, like, map them to the D-pad on a little hotkey. And we didn't really end up doing that because it was just quite easy to just pull from the quick wheel. I know it probably would have been more efficient, but I'm a creature of habit. So I left it alone. So I could go and get that whale oil tank. You're such a chaffer. You're such a chaffer. Okay, we got the arc pylon gate, which can shut down. There's an alarm and three people. All right, what are we going for today? Let's see. Phil. 
That dude has not moved for ages, but this dude's coming through. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna work. All right, it's working. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, are they gonna see me or not? They got a little bit suspicious. Just one of them. Oh, there you go. Bundry Rothwild has been killed because he was exploded in the factory. Heroically attempting to prevent an act of sabotage. Wow. That's the angle that they're going with. Emily Caldwin is still missing. Any person with information that leads to her discovery will be granted a substantial reward. Come on, mate. What is he doing? What is bro doing? Got a prowler on the loose. Man, it's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. <laughs> Lixer. Bunch of crap. As soon as I move, that's when they move. It's like always the way. <clears throat> I didn't even have a rewire tool for the alarm, so leave that alone. But I'll grab this guy while he's finally gone all the way away from everybody else. Moved. Okay. Use this to see if I can see anything around here. Uh, okay, there's a rune that way. It's just that rune that's in that direction. This area is under lockdown. Any unauthorized individual. He's just still standing there. Interesting. Right, I'm just gonna grab him. I really expected him to have moved. I'm surprised this guy just stayed in the same place. The heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin, is still missing. Any person with information that leads to her discovery will be granted a substantial reward. Okay, we got some sleepy minds. Walls off. <coughs> oh, fuck. Ow, the uh, fucking rats? Jesus. How did they not get that guy? What the fuck? What you mean? Who's paying those clothes? You're threatening the wrong person. If I were you, I would strongly consider leaving while you still can. Really? Where do you live? Probably some mansion on Clavering, right? Come on. Let's have it. Where I start cutting. I I told you he was coming. Get him, boys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not, see, I'm not good at fucking, I'm not good at hotkeys. This is why I do this. I'm not good at hotkeys in a stressful situation. Uh, um, okay. Well, you're going to fight me. I'm going to fight you. Now. See ya. 
my god. Especially on controls that I'm still adjusting to. I'm not gonna be like, yes, let me just go and instantly do my quick tools. Alright. Wonderful rescue if I say so myself. I didn't die, so that's something. Look at you. The master assassin. Yeah, I did great. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so we won't tell you anything. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. Who's shooting? <laughs> I'm like just hearing constant shooting. My grandmother's been on her deathbed for years. Now that she's really going and I'm turning 18, he's terrified. <coughs> I'll tell you all you need to know. Once the job's done. <coughs> Where are you going? Alright, the rune is still in that direction, so... <laughs> Don't have to worry about that for a while yet. It looks like we'll be going that way. In the legal district. Okay. Lovely. Absolutely bloody lovely. Trigger the tripwire if you want, if you're brave enough. Oh, we we blinked right through it. Still, great. That's kind of cool. So it does still, because it's not teleportation. It's just like really fast movement. Hey, blow off, chopper. I always find it funny that it's like. There isn't like a disarm option, it's just like only trigger. Right, I hope this dude doesn't look up. Let me see what's going on over here. <coughs> right, which one of you fellas is gonna make a move first? Okay. You're gonna go there. when this other dude's gonna come back from being inside the house, if he will at all. What? It's kind of, this is a, this is an interesting little location. Okay, now he's pissing. Hear the dude walking, I think. Come on! Yeah! Damn it. Ouch. I'm gonna dump you in the river after I cut you. Uh, Let's see what's in the Oh, there's more of you, okay. Uh, Alright, fuck. Not exactly how he wanted to do that one, fellas. Oh! This guy, I don't know, you tell me. Loot that one place, get even with Craxton. Chauncey took that key we nicked from the watch as he's trying to loot some lawyer types houses. He went cat burgling around the balconies and ain't come down yet. Better see what happened and get that key back. Brush my teeth this week. <laughs> Must have been here. Why is there so many of them? Thank you. Good. 
Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's some. Did you? S Whoa! I can like. Oh, that's so wild. When you move forward, you can adjust the trajectory of like where you are. <laughs> Cause you're like, you're on your way down. That's kind of cool. I know you're here. So you can like adjust exactly where you want to be. Where'd you run off? <clears throat> you got some bone charms and a key to the legal district. Granny's recipe, okay. Bird of prey, drop assassination gives health. Cruel Nancy, take the world from her greedy hands, lay it before the black eyed groom, cut sharp, cut deep, red drip, drop, last and least, burn it in the hearth of a lawless man. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Oh god, okay, so we have Granny's recipe from the 78 draw the world. Interesting. Now, I don't actually think we uh, finished or completed Granny's recipe in the previous mission because it was like, get the whale eye. And then after that, it was like, complete the recipe. And there wasn't really a quest marker for that. We'd, we'd, we were just like escaping. So I'm assuming you get a rune for doing Granny's recipes. So we'll try and do it this time, I suppose. Or at least uh, endeavor to do so. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. <coughs> oh, I didn't mean to let go. I meant to cancel. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Any person with information that leads to her I'm gonna try and not make constant excuses for learning the controls, but trying my best. It's a weird adjustment to go from playing a game on controller the whole time to then be like, okay, we're now on keyboard and mouse. Undertaker, slightly faster while carrying corpses, that's always a nice one. But they have to be corpses, not sleeping bodies, I think. I would say the rule would apply to sleeping bodies too. Okay. So we have to, from the 78, draw the world. Yep, that's a, that makes sense. Understood, Granny. Is there two people on this balcony right now? <coughs> there is. Uh-uh. <coughs> Look at this. What are we looking at, boss? Oh, hello. So it's a good thing that they can't see you when you're peeking. Because otherwise this would be awkward. Look at those leather texture details on my gloves. Look amazing. All that cracked old leather. Can you turn around that please? Come on, mate. Alright, we'll do it this way. Scared about the other guy coming in. Alright, you're on nap time. I could hear him. Cat, looks like the hat has broke in, took the key to the legal district. I'm gonna go knock some heads, Pete. Okay. 
Legal district key has been moved. Lizzie Stride and the Dead Eels. Excerpt from a City Watch River Patrol per report. William Cotter, captain of the merchant vessel, the Windover, reports that on the 23rd day of the month of Nets, his vessel was waylaid by the Dead Eels, a gang of notorious criminals known for acts of river piracy, wanton destruction, and smuggling. Prior to the blockade, the Windover was bound for Dunwall, bearing medicinal supplies, food, and material goods from the city of Driscoll in northeast Bristol. The captain claims at a quarter past midnight he heard the aft bell sound the alarm. As the weather was foggy, the captain's first thought was that of an imminent collision, but when he exited his quarters he found a grisly scene. Half his men already gutted on the boards and the rest locked in a vicious struggle. Captain Cotter surmised that the dead eels had swum up to the boat and scaled the, ship of the, uh, the side of the ship with climbing hooks, but how they'd caught the ship or where they'd come from he wouldn't fathom. Realising he had no choice, he had no chance even, and knowing that the dead eels took no prisoners, Captain Cotter immediately hid in a hollow of false bottom shipping crate. I asked the captain why a legitimate trader should need secret compartments, but he couldn't remember where he'd gotten it and assured me it had been empty. Safely hidden from view while his crew was butchered, Cotter also witnessed the appearance of the dead eels' leader, a violent woman by the name of Lizzie Stride. He reports that her teeth were filed to sharp points and that she went about the deck of the ship barefoot. Cotter, cleared out of his mind with fear, even claims her feet were webbed. Adding to my suspicion, I'll note that Captain Cotter still had the stench of brandy on his breath when the river patrol fished him out of the water. Lizzie Stride proceeded to question the first mate for several minutes before biting the man's tongue out of his own mouth and tossing him into the river. Eventually, the dead eels discovered the captain's stash of King Street brandy. Captain Cotter used this discovery and the ensuing celebration as an opportunity to slip overboard undetected. I recommend using a detailed patrol of the area in case the dead eels left any clues. They sank the ship, but some useful wreckage might be recovered. Also, I recommend that William Cotter's status as captain and his trading license be stripped at once. Further, the man should be investigated for charges of smuggling along the Red Haven. Officer Manly Hodgkins. My name is Manly Hodgkins. You show me respect. Someone cooked here. Someone died here. Look out, you got a prowler. Where do you reckon he is? In this room or up down the stairs? Without using dark vision. See how much see how fun the tension is? Doesn't it make your hair stick up on the back of your neck? You're like, where is he? He could be anywhere. Instead of going, I'll just use dark vision. The great part about being dowed right now is we don't even have that ability. So it seems that the developers took my side. <laughs> they were like, start off dowed without the ability to just easily see everything immediately, you know? <coughs> you have to like earn that ability. Now he sounds really fucking, yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. really Sorry, we've got to grab him because otherwise he's going to find the guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he'll go, oh, wake up. A couple of fellas having a snooze together. Alright. Down we go. We got a prowler on. Folded Galvani resin. What's that sound? Water. Sound of bloody water, innit? Okay. This footstep sound. Close, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, those footsteps sound close. I don't know, stupid goddamn. That one's so hard. I don't know. I 
Кстати. Now, buddy, have I got the location for you? It is primo. Let me tell you, I'm a certified real estate agent, and mate, you will absolutely love this place. Oh, you're settling in already. I'll check back in on you later. That'll be 500 quid a week. Excellent bloody flats these are. Anybody would be lucky to live in a place like this. I've got some whale oil. Yeah, imagine paying for that whale oil tip. No, sir. Okay, um, I still need to get this key. We've gone all the way down to the bottom now, so now I kind of need to make my way back up and around. So we've cleared this building. Good thing I didn't skip leg day because these calves are absolutely ready to ascend the staircase. Oh, you pulled me heck, mate. All right, we've got a safe. I don't think I've seen any numbers, which means I think I need to pay attention to some other things. Let's try and get the... let's focus on the key first. Oh, well, the Hatters have the key, alright, with their dead bodies. What did this to you, though? What did this to you and left the key? Chouncy! Chouncy, no! Okay. Uh, you know what I've just realized? What kind of a safe doesn't have a combination on it? <laughs> I've just seen the general silhouette of a safe and gone, fuck, I need to go find a safe code. It's, it's a keyhole one, I think. So that must be maybe the, the legal district key that we've picked up actually opens the safe and gets us some stuff. Or maybe they just leave the safe unlocked because they're silly. Um, so I've been searching for a key for no reason. Sorry, a safe code for no reason. I love that for me. This fell out of sleep too. Couple of coins. Now. Yeah. Let's have a suss of the old location. Um, we just want to get the hell out of here, so we're going to do just that. Sir? What is it? I just wanted to say congratulations on getting your own squad. Oh, I thought they were about to have like a cool conversation for me to eavesdrop on. Not much. Let the second guy go. Does he move really quickly? Oh, Jesus. He went into there. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, where the hell did that guy go? <coughs> right, he's staying in here. Stupid goddamn. I can see his little head. Come on, watch your move. Yeah, okay. That's the move. Alright, you lie down. We'll go deal with this guy. Ha! <laughs> People have the worst taste. He's commenting on the posters. Amazing. Alright, grab you as well. Shoot to sleepy sleepy over here. Yeah. 
Now, before we proceed, I just, I'm not sure how much more of this area we have to check. I think there might be a rune around here. Yes, okay, so that rune that we detected before is down here. Hence the chain. Whoop. Oh god. In the water too. <laughs> I really thought it would just grab onto it as we jumped down. Never mind. Okay. Shit. Resume from my last save. Where was that? Alright. Sure. That's good enough. Um... I, uh, excitedly jumped a little too much there. Should just go up to the chain and just... You know. Huh? <laughs> go up to the chain and just press the button instead of doing what I did last time. Oh, oh god, and I almost just walked off the edge there for some reason. Alright. Sir? What is it? I just want to... Congratulations on getting your own squad. Congratulations on getting your own squad, sir. That dude had the higher chance of spotting me. <coughs> A little more efficient that way. What's the button I can press to like put my stuff away? F. Okay. Grab that. And I'm going to quick save because I have the ability to do that whenever I want. And this time I'll just sensibly approach the chain. And very slowly descend. Okay, uh, so we've got one rune. I reckon I'll upgrade to the second level of Void Gaze of this. Still need to figure out Granny Rag's little recipe thing. Um, if I'm not too dumb. See, if you do jump on the thing, it does allow you to uh, attach to it. You don't have to press F. But all right, into the legal district. Oh, we have a notice. Cap took the key. If you need it, good luck. He's down the street, the arms house. Okay. If you don't have that information ahead of time, that's how you use that key, baby. To the legal district. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. Alright. Are we going for a lethal or non-lethal choice here? Eliminate Barrister Arnold Timsh. I'm sure a... Um, an opportunity will present itself. Why does this feel like a trap? I was just sitting here, I'm like, I'm like gonna grab it and the floor is gonna collapse or something. Uh, we got another bone charm for healthy appetite. <clears throat> Food heals you. Oh, hello. I'm wearing a mask. Okay. What is going on? 
here. Can I talk to this person, you reckon? Or am I not supposed to be here? <clears throat> he won't say who he is or what he's doing, but I locked him up just to be safe. He seems familiar to me. Reminds me of someone who used to do business with Timch, but I'm not sure. Good work, Simmons. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Timch, right? Oh, is this the guy? The next address. Crow's Court off Brambley Street. But there's a problem, sir. The Forestalls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. They don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop and we'll go in that way. Start tallying the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir... I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each is another useless pack of aristocratic sots and their precious offspring. And I don't care if they all end up mudlarks. Sir, they've been good to me. Simmons, before I worked for Barrister Timsh, I was dredging out the real weeper dens. You ever done that? Ever broken down a door and bathed in that stench? Fought housewives with blood on their faces, swinging at you with a piece of broken furniture. Other times it's just rats inside, hundreds of them, stripping some drunk to the bone. Maybe you'd like to be transferred to my old squad. No, sir. Certainly not. I used to call myself Brave, Simmons. Till I saw a man lose a fight with a pile of rats. So when Barrister Timpsh says all I gotta do is rough up a rich bastard, cuff him a few times till he stops talking about his rights, I jump at the chance. I cry with happiness. You understand me? Yes, sir. We'll approach from the back stoop. They won't be alarmed when they see me. Right. Good man. It's them or us. No room for heroes in the time of plague. You just do your job and I'll make sure you keep this posting. Damn. Meet with your lieutenant on the rooftop for a report and to gather additional information. Now, is this guy? Ah, oh, he is. Yeah, he is the prisoner. I'm like, all right, who is this <clears throat> person? All right, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll drop on in then. Should we surprise him? Hello there. Roland. It's Dowd, isn't it? You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address, but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. Rune payment, baby. Okay. Uh, we found our non-lethal option then. <laughs> Get him evicted. Get him evicted. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to go to the outpost, then we're going to go to this abandoned apartment. All right. Up and at him. Probably don't need to do that. <clears throat> Honestly, something that I've kind of thought about a lot while playing Dishonored that I think would be so funny is to, like, watch or react to, like, potential, like, speedruns or just, like, you know when you see the, those videos where it's, like, what 2,000 hours in this video game looks like? And it's always so funny to see how people can play and master a game especially when you're going through it like for the first time you're playing it like a little more slowly and methodically um and then you've got like someone who just zooms through everything and has a complete understanding of like all of the movements and everything and how to be the most efficient ever <clears throat> you go i hear a rune so maybe we'll take a look at that if there is interest 
Alright, I got two runes. Three out of seven on this one. Alright, we're gonna upgrade Void Gaze. Can I see people? Apartment 10 key, eviction document, and Roland's journal. <clears throat> Alright, blood has been waffling. So, Timch thinks he's invincible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent giving him legal immunity from the state seizing his goods in case of plague. He carries it everywhere like a talisman, but he's also drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forgery of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy, but thankfully some of my old connections are still loyal. Now all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough to Timch to do it won't be easy. I may need help from a professional. Once that's done, the fool just needs a push to go down, and that's the second part. Inside Timch's basement, there's a device that circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would reek like a weeper's den. I have to be particular about the actual material, as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with plague and cause needless suffering. That's a nice little inclusion there for us. We don't have that sort of moral implication or like the, the chain reaction. The unsavory gentleman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I will be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I'm ready to make my move. I think something that I've realized here in this reading is she craves my rune in exchange. We've just used that rune to upgrade our abilities. We don't have it anymore for the exchange. So if she is expecting us to have a rune on our person to exchange for this item, um, we don't have it. So either we find another rune or this isn't even a thing and I'm reading too much into it, or we steal the sack. Let's find out. Because <laughs> um, it seems as if we would have to um, obtain the odorous sack. Because it says non-lethal, find the sack. Regular. That's What's the occasion? The general's on his way. Things got nasty in the upper city. We handled it. One less mess for the watch to clean up. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the outpost. We'll cross over. Hey, can I buy your ration of elixir from today? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, this is... I feel like this is not good. I feel like this is not gonna work. There's a sweet spot here, though. Hold on. Oh, this is gonna result in a disaster. I feel like there is a spot where it just sits on it. Hey guys, what's up? Stupid goddamn. That did not work. Alright, that did not work. Don't do that. <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna work too, but we still did it anyway. That's right. Just broke my ankle. No worries. Ah, oh, see, I got. That's fine. Look at all this stuff! Basement escape key. Thanks for this, Billy. Area map. Look at all of this. Look at this heist plan. Amazing. You can see all of the rooms. Um, be nice if. I'm not sure if maps get committed to your inventory. I'm pretty sure they don't, but it, that would be nice. Um, apartment 7. Apartment 10, Watch Office, how to gain territory. Dark Surex, that's tree that's close to the Whaler Outpost. So we are close to the Whaler Outpost. So we started down this way. Connaissance notes. Timpsh is a vigorous... Timsh is vigorous for a man of his age. He's known to keep himself armed with a sword and pistol even when in his own home. He's been observed to be generally restless and mobile, pacing throughout the building, from his bedroom on the top floor to the lobby of the law offices on the ground floor. So he goes all the way through 
Timsh keeps his mother's will in a chest in his office on the third floor. Front door leads into law officer's lobby. Space is two stories high with balconies overlooking the lobby floor. The second balcony on the facade, glass doors, leads directly to Timsh's office. Top floor balconies on the right and left of the building, easy access. A back door leads into the, a basement. It's kept locked, but a key was easy to find. A dumbwaiter accessible in the basement connects all the floors, but it's a one-way trip. Once you get out, the panel shuts and the platform returns to the basement. Timsh carries a key with him. Any important chest or cabinets are locked with it. Side room on the top floor is also mysteriously locked. It seems to be an art studio and an apartment near Timsh's estate has rooftop access to the waterfront district. So that might be apartment seven. Um, I love that info. Look at all of that prep work that we've got. We are absolutely um, prepared to go in here now. He's in the lobby explaining his little system. Okay, and we can go and grab a will. Um, all right, what we want to do is we want to go to apartment 10, not apartment 7, sorry, apartment 10. So we'll head back on over. All right, that guy's turned around. I need to get a... I don't really have much room for a sprint jump here. Kind of, uh, I'm not going to get much... There we go. That still worked. I was like, I'm not going to get much air time here. Let's get to the other side. Oh, this is apartment 7. Of course. And then... Head over here to get to apartment 10. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. <laughs> No, I, how did I, how is that even possible, dude? No, okay. Stupid goddamn. Fuck. How have I landed on this ledge, dude? Fuck. It's like, would it be possible to jump my way back up again? Can't believe I fell through a gap like that. Just a spot of uh, balcony hopping here. Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't have to worry about a person needing a rune for exchange of this sack because um, just a few dead bodies here. Cultist scribblings, okay. This one was a father. He sired six of three mothers. He drowned one of them, but it was not his fault. One day, the child's grandfather discovered what happened, but the old man did not agree with that assessment. This one worked so hard, he broke both of his hands. When he was of no more use, they threw him out. His mother cared for him until she died, after which he turned to begging. Then he died. Okay, this is very different to what I expected. This one liked to carve wood. Once he carved a small whale, he spoke to it and kept it in his pocket. Its grains knew all of its secrets, just as I do. Okay. This is pleasant. This one was a teacher, so you should teach the children about the black-eyed one oh, she saw in her dreams. No one knew, but then one of the children went into a trance and began to cry her name. Then the overseers came. Is the sack. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated, so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. Alright, sack obtained. Do not need to exchange rune for this one. Oh, hello. There's something a little purpley in here. Cultist, eh? Little, little outsider. Oh, yeah. Fucking. I was ex expecting it to move to the side, and then I was looking at the bathtub, being like, "How's this gonna work?" And I didn't have enough brain time to process. I was almost about to get fucking crushed. 
Oh, oh fucking. What the what fuck? Does it smell like <laughs> rotting flesh, wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? Dishonored jump scare. Speak to me. Probably when you learn to knock. Jesus Christ, Billy. I hope he dies a lingering death. Okay. Here's one last lesson for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead, and the water's rising. Rothwild's gone, and his slaughterhouse is burned to the ground. Even the Empress couldn't boast of a funeral pyre so grand. You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. Damn. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. Well, he got that. Uh, there was a rune here. Anyway, uh, we're going to upgrade our blink next, I think. So I'll need to save up for that one. I love that Dowd also gets the outsider communication. Oh. I will stay. So that goes back out to the waterfront. Oh, this might be like an escape route option for us then, potentially. Okay. Let us enter. Oh, what a lovely little... What a lovely little entrance here for us. Alright. What a relief. After Talia's visit this morning... I thought the barrister was ready to start a war. Now he's downstairs laughing. He put her in her place. Even with all his maneuverings, it's the simple victories that give him the most pleasure, I think. <coughs> oh, I was... So what I was expecting is for him to be facing the other way and walking, but I was too busy trying to not get caught by that other guy that I didn't I didn't do that effectively at all. We know you're here. I did not do that effectively at all, sadly. Oh god. He heard me. Because you know what? Hey my legs. Um <laughs> I forgot to blink while crouched. If met my demise, sadly. Alright, so there is a guy. Pew! Alright, let's try this again. Okay, this goes downstairs. So there's going to be someone walking this way. These guys are having a conversation. After Ty's visit this morning, I thought the barrister was ready to start a war. Now he's downstairs laughing. He put her in her place. Even with all his maneuverings, it's the simple victories that give him the most pleasure, I think. <laughs> it's a smarter way. The smarter way to do things. And then uh, he's just going to have a little nap on the balcony here. <laughs> there you go, face first. Into a steel bar. Okay. Another one. <laughs> so he's in here. Look at this. <clears throat> Look at this indeed. Oh, these are the. This is the little like shh elevator. He's turning around. 
He's not turning around. Oh, don't go out there. <laughs> don't go out there. There's a guy having a nap out here. Whoa. All right, hold on. Let me put you where you need to be. Nappy time with your with your pal having a cuddle. You okay? Scott, do you really need that alarm device in my office? It's ugly, the colors clash, and the cable is marking up the woodwork. I am positively certain the way it's been attached to the floor will cost a few thousand in coin to mend, Arnold. Nice little bit of information there, thank you. Oh, is this... Is this tied to the world that I need to do for Granny Rags thing? Draw 78 from the world? A war medal. The evictions list. Forestall, cruise, court, 2,900 coin. Property value, 1,650... 1,500 coin. Fenced away, Cartwright, Blanken, Bedler. Oh, hang on. One of them had a little bit of a different description to it. Arnold, have you forgotten that Rudshaw is flooded? I can't appraise this. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils and they, as you know, on the do not touch list. The boils. A little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means. Interesting. All right, so I knew that voice was close. He was coming up this way. Should we teleport behind and choke him out? Or is he going to move? Oh, he's moving this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> gotcha. Time to get added to the pile. Time to get added to the pile of guys. Pile of guys. It's a pile of guys. Okay. Is that rune that I can hear? Let's use our little vision. Oh, it's above us. All right. This is cool now. Now we can actually see the people and the items too. We can see audiographs. That's nice. Collectibles is a nice touch. Ooh, I like that too. The noise that I'm making. Letters from the overseers next to the bin. Mr. Timsh, we cannot currently spare an overseer equipped with a musical device to become a member of your house guard. All of our ranks are currently very busy with other weightier matters. If you fear an impending assault by a perpetrator of the heretical arts, I suggest you come immediately to Holger Square for counsel and protection. Staff, Barrett the Timsh was complaining about squeaky in these doors. So they've been removed until the repair order comes in. Please don't throw anything down the shaft or do anything childish. Ooh. So while the doors close, this one is forever open. And hang on, the will is still here, right? This is the will location. Right, it'd be the key. I feel like this would be some gold. Oh, okay. It does alert people. Like, it makes sense that it would, obviously, but I was wondering if their hearing was only limited to the floor that they were on, potentially. 
this changes things. People will want to come and investigate that. Or will they? Okay, it doesn't actually look like people are coming to investigate that one. They're just like, what was that? No, I think we're okay. Um, I think we should head... Ah, oh, Tim, she's gonna stay down in the lobby. He might move if we alert him. So I'm thinking, well not if we alert him, but I'm thinking he'll move if we go down there to check him out. So I think if we do the top floor first, just to get the rune and have a scope of things, we can come back. Whether there was a way to silently break these things for coin. And I don't want to just start relying on my dark vision so much to see things, because like I said, it just ruins the tension. Statue of... Talk with a statue of Delilah? What? Or maybe... What's-his-face will appear. Poem by Delilah. When pretty Emily woke one day, she saw the world a different way. Her eyes now looked with a stranger's guile. Her dainty mouth smiled a stranger's smile. Her hands now worked the stranger's wrath. Her feet now walked a stranger's path. Emily fed, another grew stronger. The stranger's cravings drove her onward. And no one who looked at Emily's face ever guessed who ruled in Emily's place? Hmm. So you're talking about, like... Our Emily, I think, but intriguing. Who are you? I understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessie and the little girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater satisfies you because you won't get more i ought to just kill you but i'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters who were very impressed with you once upon a time stay away from me there are great changes coming and i'll expect you not to interfere i have influence in places you won't expect but as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch. And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. I just have a, a genuine, real conversation with a stone statue because Billy Lurk acknowledged it like pointing out that she was like a bit of a bitch you wouldn't get that if she didn't witness the conversation as well right i just spoke with a living statue it wasn't like a weird sort of dowed power to like use some outsider magic to like i don't know use some i don't know what did I genuinely just have a conversation with a stone statue? We just brought that to life? I'm very confused about that one. She's promised to help you locate Delilah for a, a price. Meet with Talia to find out what she knows. Like, we have to locate Delilah. I'm confused about what just happened there. Like, I'm unsure if I genuinely just had a conversation with a statue or whether it was just like... Um, an imaginative thing. But then Billy was also, you know able to see that. Delilah did the painting. Look at that. That's cool. 
Letter from Roland, the rich man. <clears throat> Dear Arnold, thank you for inviting my wife and me over for dinner last week. We both had a splendid time. I also appreciate you being so patient with her episode. Not many people are as understanding, and you showed considerable grace. I'm also happy I was able to confide in you with my business arrangements. I'm sure you'll be able to keep them strictly confidential, but it was a relief to finally be able to vent about the frustrations I much endure daily to a colleague who understands these sort of things. I hope that you will allow me to return the favor and play host to you for an evening. I'll return tables. Mother, this is Arnold. If you happen to awake him while no one is present, I've prepared this for you to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. Your last will has been written and approved. So she didn't even write her own will. Barrister Timch, I'm afraid I cannot in good conscience remain your mother's physician. The way you repeatedly deny her access to practices which could potentially restore her lucidity is nothing short of a death sentence, and I wish no part of it. Good day to you, sir. There you go. Keeping his mother in that state so he can have access to the will that has already been uh, pre-approved. So we'll be coming up here, back up here with the key. <clears throat> Lovely looking bathroom. I reckon we'll be safe to smash open that, um, this cabinet then. Aya! Might be worth checking out. Are they actually going to come check it out this time? Oh shit, there's two people down there. They're actually on this level. Look at that. So they did not care about the one on this level, but now, yeah, they're coming up. Okay. <laughs> so the, the last one, someone acknowledged it, but this time they're actually doing it. Up they come. No, the statue is recognized as a person. What the fuck? The statue is actually recognized as a person. What is that? What is that? You won't stay hidden for long. All right, well, they're going to explore up there. I love that I can see the items in there. Okay. Um, they'll stay up there. We're going to head down. Just need to remember that those guards exist. And deal with them at a later date. Oh shit. We're going down the wrong staircase. I almost walked right into them. I can't find the barrister. Maybe you should stop running to him with every little crisis. He's in his office upstairs, convening with his guard. Oh. Wait. Did, did the fucking... Did Timch go upstairs with the guard? That's who those two figures were? A guard and Timch? Oh my god, it is too. What the fuck? So, Timch decided to come check up upstairs with the guard instead of two guards? Okay. I guess that makes it easier for me. It brings him down here instead of, um,. Bring him up here instead of me going down to him but that guard is like up his ass so i think i might have to try and put them both to sleep because i think if i grab one timp's just gonna go oh 
I mean, we can try. Oh, Jesus. Why did I think that they were going to commit to their walking path? Why do I always think that these characters will commit to their walking path? Because they now, never fucking do! Here? Who said you? That wasn't me, mate. This was too easy. That wasn't me who did the killing. You shot him in the back of the head, you did. Get forensics on the bullet that came from the, your weapon, sir. Oh my god. All right, so Timps and a guard are up here. Holy shit. Let it be known I did not assassinate him. Oh fuck, I've saved it right here as well, so hang on. So they'll be coming down the stairs. I can hear the footsteps. We'll still check out downstairs, but look at that. All right. Will he notice? <laughs> Whoa, he didn't notice that I grabbed a dude from right next to him. Onto the pile with you, sir. Oh my god, he didn't even notice. Oh, shit. Yeah. Just gonna do this, sir. Just gonna wait for you to turn. So, we've got to swap documents in his pocket. So I think we've got to do this without him actually noticing. But I've also got to get his key. And then I think we can just leave him awake. Or maybe we can swap the documents. Oh, because it will steal the pouch from him, won't it? I don't know if you can knock him out by carrying him. I can probably just shoot him with a sleep dart, but that's lazy. We need to actually do the swap and get the key. Just need this man to move, please. All right, sir. Go check out the other place, please. Mm hmm. We did it. All right, we switched the documents. He's got a different pouch now, and we've got the key. Oh shit, which means I can go in here. That's strange. Get that! Jim just doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. Ooh. Let's go into Delilah, okay. Can't see me. We're going back upstairs to get that rune. All right. Keep tent. Document swapped. We have the will. And the beneficiary is a Delilah. Lela. Yeah. Alright, we're now sitting at um how many runes are we sitting at? Three. One more rune to upgrade our blink. Now the good news is Barrister Timpsh has now been permanently marked. Oh, I think he's going downstairs. He's on the move. Yeah, alright. He's heading back downstairs. He did not even question the disappearance of his guard. <coughs> Clever boy. Okay. Zook, he must have gone to relieve himself. Hello there, mate. Let me grab you. Um, 
there's not really a spot here to hide you. I don't know if someone's going to come up. So we're just going to chuck you over here and just assume that it's going to be okay. Whoa! That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Wait a minute. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. Jesus. All right. If I dropped his body down here, I would have just immediately gotten caught. <laughs> So that was a good choice. Right. Maybe this isn't something. Has some peril. You can go under the stairs. You can be the boy who lived under the stairs. Young Prince of Tivia. Hmm. Definitely read that before. Don't mind if I do. Alright. There is Timsh. The air circulator is further downstairs. <clears throat> Someone's supposed to be on duty. Well, guess what, mate? Everybody's having a bit of a nap tonight, all right? A bit of a sleepy, sleepy duty. Academy of Natural Philosophy. I feel like we've read that. All these paintings on the staircases are amazing. Look at that. That's cool. Right. Should I try for the chandelier? Uh, the chandelier approach. Alright, now what? <laughs> We've got onto the chandelier. Tasteless. I reckon I can make it through here, or is... <coughs> that was close. Alright. City Barrister. Excerpt from a series of profiles about Dunwall's key figures. While the keen-minded barristers of the legal district have always played a vital role in the health of the capital city of Dunwall and the Empire of the Isles at large, the dreaded Rat Plague has elevated the desperate need for their services, with so many disputes related to abandoned estates or entire industrial companies left leaderless after the deaths of everyone in the controlling family, shareholders and investors, and even workers themselves are often in need of the post-mortem legal advice and guidance that can only come from scholarly men such as Arnold Timsch. We are all in their debt. Thus, there is no surprise in the Lord Regent's recent appointment of Timsh to the newly created position of City Barrister. Among Timsh's responsibilities is serving as liaison to the dead counters of the City Watch once the plague has been found in a home or once it has devastated a business. It falls on Timsh to divvy the assets left behind, awarding them to the state if no one survives with legal claim to the funds or property. This is, of course, not a light matter, therefore it falls to one above moral question, and that man is Barrister Arnold Timsh. With regard to more personal matters, it is true that Timsh is not a great socialite, as some have noted. However, in recent seasons, his niece Talia has made headway toward correcting this, throwing lavish parties and earning the favour of some of Dunwall's great families, including the Boyles. To date, young Lady Talia is unwed, and though several times there have been rumours of impending marriage, all of these thus far have been proven to be mere social gossip. Also unsubstantiated are the absolutely false whispers of conflict between uncle and niece, no doubt spread by those ill-tempered and ill-bred louts who are jealous of the rising Timsh name. Oh. Take the tarot card the world. Oh, this is the Granny Rags thing. From the 78. Oh, the 78 card tarot deck. Okay. Lay the tarot card of the world at the feet of the one with the eyes of blackest void. We take that to the outsider's shrine. High on the lamp house. Lyrics to a song sung in Morley. Ha! You made fun of me when I sung my sea shanty wrong as a joke. So now I will never sing again. So no singing. Right to Mapocalypse singing has been rescinded. 
All right. Um, we've got to do this air circulator. Oh, you know what? That'll probably just clear out the whole house, won't it? Everybody will just run outside, you think? So we have to get to the basement. And I think that means we can actually get to the basement from the third floor um, by going down the chute. But I don't know if it would deal a significant amount of damage to us. Um, maybe we can just try and access the basement from here. I don't know how to do that, though. So we'll have to see. All of the chamber pots are currently out for cleaning. Please refrain from pissing all over the bare wood. Go piss in the back alley if you can't hold it. If the staff complains to me again, I'm giving each of you a bathroom to clean using only your socks. Understand? All right, quick. Piss all over the wood. It must be done. People have the worst taste. I love him saying that in his own house. It's like, he's like within earshot. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. We get a little bit suspicious for a sec. Alright, hold on. I need Wait, to try. Who is that? No, no, no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why did I sprint? No! You didn't see anything. I'm in the bathroom. I'm using the bathroom. I'm having a bathroom break. You don't know that I'm here. I'm having a bathroom break. I'm tinkling. Oh, the fact that my instinct was not to stop time or hide, it was to fucking sprint. See the panicking that ensues when I have a goddamn keyboard and mouse to handle? Do not open this door, Timsh. Do not open this door. No, no one's here. Check under everything. It's going to be bad. You won't stay hidden for long. Ooh. Where are you? Didn't realize a second person was going to come look after Timch. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. <sighs> okay. Someday I'll be the one who comes. A prowler on the loose. Okay. We're getting out of here. Okay. We're getting out of here. Just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. We've been identified, though. Do you think that has, like, an impact? <coughs> I think if we do the air circulator thing and the whole... We've swapped the documents and then the plague thing happens. It should be okay. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. All right, we can go down to the basement from here. I think if we do the air circulator thing... Everyone will be forced out of the house. That's Tivy and Silk, I'll bet you. What I'm gonna do is we'll make another we'll make our own save. There's your Timps can afford nice things. Since he works. Just in the case world. if like getting spotted by Timps. Anyone taken away with the sickness forfeits their property. He does all the legal details, makes it proper. Doesn't seem fair to lose all your things like that. I think with the swapped documents and getting the house, like, evacuated with this smell, it won't matter. Guys. Time to circulate the air in this place. Alright, so I'm assuming everybody will leave, because they'll be like, ah, the smell! Non-lethal. Do not interfere with Timp's arrest. Ooh, hang on. Hang on, there's an arrest? Wait. How do I use... I want to use the lift. I want to use the lift so I can witness this event. Oh, I, I, I want to... Uh, where's the lift? I'm being foolish. It was nothing. Shit. I want to, I want to witness it. What is she doing? She's just leaving because of the smell. <coughs> oh, it's here. I told her. Oh no. You know what? Fuck it. I just, I want to witness this arrest. Can 
I'm panicking. says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress. What's happening here? I right, hang on. Non-lethal, do not appear as, as Tim is arrested by General Turnbull. <clears throat> is he supposed to be leaving the house? I think he must be supposed to be leaving the house, right? <sighs> Come on guys, it stinks. I thought all of you were going to leave and then I was going to be able to loot this place without any people around. Mate, go outside. Where did this person go? Fuck. Help me! Can't someone help me? Ha! Huh. Look at that. It just broke the help me. thing. How did that just happen? How did how did that just how did that just happen? All right, um, that's unfortunate. That did not work the way that we wanted it to. Let's see if we can actually get this to work. Ugh, what is that horrible smell? I don't know, but it smells like something died in the circulator. Let's go out back and wait for it to clear out. Okay, so they go out the back and wait for it to clear out. I don't know which level I'm at, but I guess I'm here. Alright, here we go. I've actually used it properly this time. So they're gonna clear out. What's happening here? Maybe I have to go out st uh, outside and I'll witness the actual thing. What is that? Oh, there we go. Stench. I can barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timpsh. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timpsh! Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here. This will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible! I, I, Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no! This isn't the right document! This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court! It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. Yo, <laughs> fainted. Now what? Oh, uh, what if I get sick? I'll just wait for him to wake up. What a cool scene to have play out. He just like so confidently hands him the thing. Oh god, people are waking up. Other people. Okay, guys, just you're all supposed to be out of here. All right, I'll quick save now because. I feel like that's gone swimmingly. Okay, now I hear you. Yeah, go go and investigate that noise, why don't you? Alright, so the barrister has been dealt with. The people have gone out back. Kitchen, the tomatoes in yesterday's dinner were overcooked. You know how much I hate overcooked tomatoes? I like them crisp without that mushy consistency. Am I clear? Please don't ruin my dinner again. Look, this dude's an asshole. Proceeds to eat your whole kitchen. The basement key. If we get in through the basement, we can get out. 
place the items you wish to deliver on the tray, use the dial to select the floor with one as the law offices and lobby, two as the smoking lounge and library, three, Tim's office, and four, the dining hall and bedroom. Pull the lever and the platform will go up. When it reaches that floor, a bell will sound to notify the staff on that floor. Once the load has been removed, the machine will automatically lower back down. If you activate the dumbwaiter without selecting a floor, it'll default to one. Please do not rate it right on it. So the bell will go off automatically as well. So you'd be kind of alerting people. Go around. Get a bone charm. Reinforced bolts. Is there anything else for us to find around here? Yeah, there's something. There's a bone charm all the way out there. And I think that's it at the moment. Now, there's a guard awake upstairs. Two guards on multiple levels. Yeah, they're all starting to wake up. <laughs> I love how much we can see money items to pick up as well. Oh, got you now. Right. Um, so we still got guards looking around. I was hoping that they would just all clear out, which would have been the, the easiest way. Note from a lawyer. A. When are we going to get a secretary? I can never find any of the documents filed by J. And S. Doesn't seem to file anything. This place is turning into a vortex of disorganization. So, so big you could ride a whale into it. Wondered Galvani. Note to Gerwin. I understand your concern about security, but I trust in the security of a key hanging from my own belt. Not a combination lock. A combination lock can be guessed, cracked, or bribed, but with a simple lock and key, the contents of my archives remain safe. As for lockpicks, a fable. I've never known such things to truly exist, have you? I kind of like that mention because you'd think that, like, lockpicks are, like, one of those classic stealth tricks of the trade, right? And, like, this game is very reliant on, like, you must obtain the key to things. I kind of love that. Alright, I think we've we've pretty much cleared the place anyway and done everything that we've wanted to do. So I think we can now bid farewell to this place. Um, just trying to think. Oh yeah, we should head back the way that we came um, because we've got to go. Um, got work to do upstairs. Because um, I think we've got to take this tarot card to the outsider. Oi! Hello. God damn it. Oh, Are you going to move this way or the other way, sir? Or am I going to put you to sleep? What are we What are we doing? Your choice. What are you going to do? Are you just going to sit there? Alright, you can sleep. Right in the face. Alright, we're going to leave. That was fun. Alright, now let's see if this is what is supposed to happen here. We've got this card. Take it to the outsider's shrine. Yeah, look. Place it. Optional. Lay the tarot card at the feet. Lead on the card. Okay. Nice little bit of ritual stuff. Yum, 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 yum. Bleed right through my glove. Alright, now what? Burn the bloodied card at the hearth of a man who dreams of being lord of all. Oh, okay. A bloody card. Uh. Okay. So I'm. We gotta go to the dude's fireplace? Because his fireplace was active, I think. Yeah. Here? It's all very close together. Yes. Ooh. Now a root appears. Yeah, we actually successfully did a Granny Rags recipe on like the last mission, sadly. Where we just did the eyeball and I was like, oh, what else do we do? Alright, 
right, Blink is now level two. Perfect. And now we make for the waterfront district. Now, um, we can do that this way via this apartment. Good work, Dowd. I liked that non-lethal thing. It was kind of satisfying to see that play out the way that it did. Now we're going to back to the waterfront via this apartment. Oh, hang on. There was a bone charm for us to get, wasn't there? That's Atalia. She's waiting where she said she'd be. I should probably go get that bone charm. Um, because it's in the other district, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm gonna head back. I forgot about that bone charm for a second. So, I will be back. So, a little bit more gallivanting to be done before we, um, before we leave. We're almost out of here. Alright, um, it is... Over there. Mm, this is gonna be kinda weird. So it's like, if I go down there, up there, then down there, that should work. <laughs> That's so good. So that first time it definitely did bug because he didn't leave and I think it's because one of the um like the servants was suspicious of me for a little while so it might have just like I think it messed up the whole thing but then as soon as we restarted he walked outside like he was supposed to So, Bone Charm will be around here somewhere. There's a guard down there. Dies. It's down there. Okay. Um. I should be able to do this. Oh, that's one of the servants from the, not servants, but the guests, the thing. They like run and hit all the way down here. Alright, Bone Charm. Overpowering. Easily win contested interactions. Okay. Excuse me? Alright, um... Now it's probably easier to escape out the way that we initially planned. I would dare say. Because it's pretty much a straight shot there and... Even Billy Lurk was there. Oh, shit. That was not supposed to happen. Oopsie. Almost uh, messed that one up completely. Got caught, but we're fine. Hopefully, mate. That went exactly as planned, that did. Now, just not to fall through the, the gap in this spot this time. Ah, me feet. Wonderful. Probably could have gone the teeniest, tiniest little bit better, but I think, you know, for the first run, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Now we head back to Talia. Well, head to da Talia. Back to the docks area. Remember the rats that were here before? The 
Emily Oh, Jesus. A death for a death. Kill him is what I say. Down's a legend. We won't take chances. Not a chance. After what he did to Bundry, he's gonna pay for death. Oh, that's so cool. They say assassins don't feel pain. They learn how to turn it off. I've been in the butchers eight years. I know what makes a man scream. Huh. Revenge for Bundry, huh? Shit. Damn it. Someone let the oil run out. Well, you clean all the guts off the killing floor. You better believe it. Gathering for butchery and blubbery tonight. Alright. Whoa, that was cool. But we'll avoid that from playing out entirely. I'm here. Okay, we're back. I love that tying in to what happened in the previous mission. That's a really neat touch. Hello there. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as a That'll agreed. do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dow. That's all I know. Okay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Dahlia and Dow drawn to each other somehow. Okay. I'll be leaving soon. Delilah Copper Spoon's identity is the achievement that popped up on my screen. Missing pieces. We've obtained the identity. Hey, Billy, look. How'd I do, bruv? Temp she's ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Oh. Billy's like, hmm, she's rethinking things. She thinks that she was wrong about us. I'm out of here, baby. Let's go home. We did it. Mission success. Okay. That was better. We got all of our stuff. Um, two kills. So a little a less chaotic than last time. So our overall chaos, our current total, is actually low. It was high. It's gone back down to low again. So that's the first time I've been able to actually see it vary mission to mission. Completed Granny's recipe, raided all of Timsha's chests, barrister, barrister Timsha rested, and spoke with Delilah. So it says... Delilah, like that. So we had some sort of weird dreamy connection outside a magic thing, but also I guess Billy was able to also sit in on that and comment on the personality of the statue. Very interesting. Um, now, because I'm not playing on Xbox anymore, um, I have to continue and then jump into the next mission and then save. Whereas usually on Xbox it is quick resume, so I could like leave the game here and then jump back in. Um, but I'm playing on PC now. I can't do that <laughs> anymore. So uh, I haven't saved the game before the end of the mission. So we will, we're going back to Dowd's hideout and we're just going to start the mission um, just to save. But we are going to obviously end the mission here. <clears throat> The Surge, Delilah, is a powerful witch who leads a coven that has moved into the ruins of Brigmore Manor. 
Oh, so that ties in with the Brigmore Witches. That's the Brigmore Witches stuff. Right. Duh. Gotcha. Okay. So the Brigmore Witches is like a continuation of the Knife of Dunwall. And when we were in this place, the, um, the flooded district, um, we found an, a letter that was about the Brigmore Witches as well at some point. You've returned to your hidden base to plan your next move. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colvin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Okay. New upgrades, improved armor and boot stealth and stun mine extra charge. We didn't even get to use the stun mine because we're too busy being a stealth king. But we'll get our upgrades for the next one. We'll get the boot stealth. Will we get both of them? That way we could probably just walk around without even being in stealth. Um, sure. We'll get the improved armor. Even though, you know what? Like, as soon as I bought that, I went, yeah, we shouldn't need that. But maybe we'll get into some combat and we might need it. No favors because we're just heading back to our hideout. Uh, bone charm capacity. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. All right. So we've got a maximum of six now. So we're going to increase that. And then I think that's fine. Indeed. Gowd's key. And we start and I save. And this is where we bring our episode of Dishonored to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the Legal District. I thought this was a really, really fun mission. Uh, we're heading back to Dowd's hideout uh, to plan our next move. I will see you next time for whatever comes next.